for me. Also, X the Hakjo with the token. I Ion Island from Telepay. A Kapow match. It's a Kapow match. Ion Island. From... Not to be confused with Iron Island from Pokemon, so. Did Pokemon actually rip off Telepang in this instance? Oh, those jerks. <laughs> we got Kapow Bugs going right away. And then after that, you, you always gotta look and see what move they replaced. Sometimes it could be a really good move that gets replaced and you could be stuck in a bad situation. But it doesn't look like anything too good has been taken out here. It looks like Lotad lost its grass type stab, which might be important considering that the blue team has a mana fee, but that seems to be the only big difference. Yeah, that's true. And the miracle seed now means nothing as well. Actually, just take a look at every single item on the battlefield right now. Each one is absolutely either useless or detrimental. Great job, guys. Yep. And there could be something I'm not seeing, but at first glance, that's the way it looks like. Uh, not many bets going on red side right now. Maybe that'll change, but... Blue team does have a pretty good matchup with that Shuppet, being immune to all of those Kapows. That's true. But of course, if it's just Kapows itself, then that really doesn't matter. That's true. You never know what could happen in a Pokemon <laughs> battle. In a Kapow match, if you can just get out to a lead, you can kind of, uh, you can kind of coast the whole way. Now you can sell, still sell Kanto badges for two tokens. That doesn't work for me that often. Well, what is this song? Mitomo. Friend's house. This reminds me of when we played Tomodachi. I didn't even know Mitomo had music. Then again, I've never played it, so what do I know? I think pretty much everything that is even remotely a game has music. True enough. You know, every time it sounds like a Pokemon song, but I'm not familiar with it, it's always Telebang. Or something like that. <laughs> Blue team immediately switches their Beedrill out, probably avoiding that aerial ace. Shuppet comes in. Yep, yeah, Shuppet will be able to be immune to any Kapow, but it still took a lot of damage from that. So the underdog seem to have a leg up right now. Yeah, that switch meant nothing. Seems Shuppet wasn't as useful as expected. We may just get a huge payout here, unless we see it come back, which can happen, but like I said, with the Kapow match, usually it's get the lead and then just go all the way. Boom, boom. <laughs> Beautify will stick with the Aerial Ace. Does not do as much. It's a heart swap. Any stat changes are about to be swapped. So, Beautiful Eye has now went from plus zero to plus zero, and Manaphy has made the amazing jump from plus zero to plus zero. Wow, tactical. And its health is almost half over. Manaphy might just have to go for the... I can't go for the Kapow, because they're losing. <laughs> But yeah, this is, uh, this is really over for the blue team, and I don't, I don't usually like calling matches over, but I don't see it right now unless, <laughs> unless, uh, you know, somehow the red team gets stuck on some bad moves. Mm -hmm. And Surf gets a, what seemed like a high roll, and then is able to kill Beautify. So, if 
Man, if he can get a power off now, then maybe he could go to a random match. Or not a random, uh, one versus one match. So that was a huge blow as Lotad goes down almost as soon as it comes out. Now it's a one-on-one, -on -one, so Blue looks dead as a doornail. Man, if, imagine if they've actually gotten this out of Shuffle, they would have killed this. So who will Kapow first, I guess. I mean, I don't know who. I always forget who wins. If, the, if, if uh, you, someone kapows, if you kapow on your last Pokemon, then you lose. Okay. That makes sense. All right, it's gonna be up to this. Can Beedrill get a one-hit KO with the help of Sword Stance on one of the weakest Pokemon in the game? Twin Needle. Yes, it will KO the red team's Azuril. I was dead wrong about what was going to happen this match. I did not see Surf being that much more powerful than Psychic was for Manaphy. But, you know, I totally forgot about the stab as well. You know what it was? I kind of forgot that Manaphy was not a water Psychic type because all those other, you know, cute legendaries are Psychics, you know? There are a lot of Psychic legendaries. I don't blame you. Yeah, but like, there's, you know, you have Mew, and then Celebi, and uh, Jirachi, and then next next in that line is Manaphy. Yeah, it was a good match by Blue Team. They definitely turned things around. It did look grim for them, but some smart plays kept them alive. By the way, have you guys ever seen the cool little Easter egg, even if it's a coincidence, about the uh, all those, you know, cute legendary Pokemon in a row? Like... They have the Roman numerals of every generation. Like, if you put Fiona and Manaphy together, the, their antennas make up IV, and then, you know, Victini's just the V. I and, did not know that, actually. Um, and then I think that, you know, Celebi has the two antennas, which is the two. Look up a picture of that. It's actually really cool. Unless you believe that people are just reading too deep into it, which, honestly, I, I see it. I did not get my chance at a token in time.